the African civet. The African civet, this is the mammal that I chose to begin with in this uh, family. The African civet, which is also called the Civetica civeta, Civetica civeta, that's the scientific name. So don't worry much about the scientific names. I will make sure that I drop them in the comment box or right in the description box. That's where the scientific names will be are laid down for you to read for yourself and also to pronounce them for yourself because it's actually difficult to pronounce the scientific names. So this animal feeds mainly on insects, the wild fruits, as well as the reptiles and millipedes. It has got a very stinking chemical that actually it produces whenever it's spooked or whenever it's uh, intimidated. So it is its own defensive mechanism that it uses. It sprays or it releases the scent that is so stinky. This is an African civet. Males will weigh up to an average of about 10 and a half kilograms and the females, it's an average of about 11 and a half kilograms, showing that the females are slightly larger than the males. And their gestation period is around plus or minus two months, that's a plus or minus 60 days, because we don't have an accu accurate dates actually whereby we say this is the accurate days of its gestation period so when we talk about wild animals it's so difficult for us to actually record the actual dates so we normally say plus or minus because it may be less or even more than that plus or minus 60 days they give birth to about one to four young ones one to four young ones and uh, this is during the summer months or the warmer months and uh, the months that are wet so most of the times these wild animals will give birth whenever there is cover to protect their young ones and in the wild this animal can live up to like 14 years 14 years this is an african civet the civeticus civeta so we are continuing now we venture into another mammal that is found on the same family this is a large spotted genet the geneta tigrina geneta Tigrina. This is a large spotted genet. This animal is a hunter of small creatures like uh, insects, murids, spiders, scorpions, and uh, other reptiles and birds as well. They also feed on wild fruits on occasion. They feed on wild fruits on occasion. And uh, these animals will weigh up to like uh, one and a half kilograms, plus or minus one and a half kilograms. And their gestation period is around 77 days, plus or minus. 77 days giving birth to two to three young ones and uh, this is during the warmer months that's around summer as well and uh, they can live up to like 13 years 13 years that's in the world most of the times animals will live much longer in captivity than in the world the reason being they don't stress much when they are in the in captivity and also they are always fed they are looked after and there isn't much predation when they are there in captivity than in the world. In the wilderness, it is the survival of the fittest. So you have to be strong enough to survive. So this uh, large spotted genet is actually noted or it can be identified by its white or uh, black tail. It's white and it's got a black tip at the end. It's white and it's got a black tip at the end. And then we have the other one. This is the uh, small spotted genet also it has got a, a big tail which is, has a white tip at the end the large spotted has got a black tip and the white spotted has got a white tip so we are going on to the small spotted genet this one is called the geneta geneta that's a scientific name small spotted genet the geneta geneta this one also is a, a hunter of small creatures the insects spiders uh, reptiles the fruits just like uh, the other genet that we spoke about the large spotted genet Guys, welcome to the Autumn of Survival and I'm sitting in this bravery right now and this is cool to speaking. Yeah, and this is the Autumn of Survival guy. Yeah. Yes, the Ultimate Survivor indeed. Uh, this is the Ultimate Survivor welcoming you with warm hands. We are bringing you into Africa or would rather bring Africa right at your doorstep. We what do what we call the virtual visiting of Africa, whereby we show you the stuff that you want to see in Africa, we show you the places that you want to visit in Africa, while you are sitting in the comfort of your home. So this channel deals much about tourism in Africa, the animals of Africa, 
nature conservation and everything that you would love to know about Africa. We are like a spotlight in Africa. We are actually showing you everything that concerns Africa. So if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so that when you drop a new video, you are notified already. And uh, please, if you're watching our videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That will actually make our channel to grow a lot. And anything that you like to contribute, drop it in the comment box and I will make sure that I will open each and every comment and I will actually respond to each and every comment that you drop there. So this is the Admiral Survivor taking you through Africa. And we are still talking about the mammals of Africa. We are talking about the orders and the families of um, the mammals of Africa, of which today we are in the family Vivaridae, the family Vivaridae, which animals falls under this uh, family. Stick around. To find out more this is the small spotted genet the geneta geneta small spotted genet or the geneta geneta so this animal also feeds on the similar diet like the large spotted genet it hunts small creatures of insects smurids spiders scorpions ribitals and also the fruits also are eaten as a supplement just like the large spotted genet and this one also is around 1.2 uh, to one and a half kilograms and uh, in weight and uh, their gestation period is also around 77 days it's a plus or minus 77 days giving birth, birth to two to four young ones and uh, their longevity or um, they can live up to like 13 years that's in the world and uh, their birth records it's during the warmer months as well so these animals can confuse you a lot as i said earlier but then the tip of the tail is usually white that's when you can actually distinguish between the two the tips of the tails but the coat or the fur the color of the skin also the diet as well as the habit are just similar to the large spotted genetic so these animals are actually cat like and they are nocturnal to see these animals you book a tour in africa and uh, you do what we call the spotlight touring the spotlight touring whereby you'll be searching on small animals or on the cats during not the night and also you're using a flashlight to search for these animals these are the animals that falls under the family uh be very dead we do have the other animals that are actually lined under this family these are the mongooses the slender mongoose the dwarf mongoose the water mongoose bandit mongoose whatever mongoose that you know they fall under the same family but i chose to pick only three animals the african civet the large spotted genet and the small spotted genet so that we talk about these animals so please continue to follow us continue to like our videos continue to subscribe and when you subscribe just go down in the comment box and just uh, type in I subscribed and I'll make sure that I will actually answer to that one I'll make sure that I'll respond to that one please help us to grow this channel help us to reach many people in the world we want to cover the whole world teaching people about the amazing stuff that happens in Africa. We are the 